everyone, me again. Uh, so, pretty much I'm just going to talk a little bit about the upgrades that I've done on this. So as you know by now, this is the version 1.5 of the Folding Combat Axe. So obviously you've seen version 1 uh, back in the very first video that I posted, this one here. Um, so we've made a few changes, a few upgrades, so I'm just going to quickly talk a little bit about them. I'm go not going to try to drag this on too long, because uh, I know you guys just want to see it in action. So, uh, super quick. What we've done to the design to make it a little bit better is, number one, we have upgraded the locking system. So, what I mean by that is uh, where the handle folds here and where the axe folds there, uh, there's essentially two locking hooks and on the, the first version they were just straight but what I've done now is added a five degree uh, incline on the um, on the inside of the locking tabs so that now the more force that you put on this trying to bend it in the opposite direction of where it's locked so if, say if I was trying to bend it down this way or trying to fold the axe head back in without unlocking it um, the more the the locks will bite in so it's gonna be a lot lot stronger so the more that I try and, and break this axe essentially the more those locks are gonna hold on even tighter and it's just really, really robust now. Like, this thing is absolutely solid. Like, I, can't, I could not uh, bend that if I tried with all my might, um, especially if this thing was made in metal. I'm 100% confident that the locks would hold up to uh, quite a bit of abuse. So that's really, really awesome. They're so sturdy now. And yeah, they're not gonna come undone at all. Whereas this one, if you apply enough tension here, the, uh, the lock would give way. And, but now if I pull super hard, it's just gonna bite in even more than it was last time. So you can see that now, it's like super, super strong. So, awesome. All right, so that's the first thing, upgraded locks. Um, it's now completely fail-proof. And yeah, the next thing we have is the ergonomics. So what I've done to the edges, which you can see there, I've just rounded all the edges on there. So that now, like it is really, really comfortable in the hands. Like I'm actually really happy with how this feels. Uh, super, super comfortable. Whereas this one, all the edges were square, so it, it kind of bites into your hand a little bit. It hurts a little bit after a while, but this one, you don't have that issue at all. Um, I've chamfered some of the edges on the design, so you can see that here, um, where the bolt attaches, it's nice and flowy into the next piece of the design. Um, so yeah, just the overall aesthetics a lot, lot nicer. So that's the next thing I did. Um, I've also added a triangle symbol to the button. So it doesn't really serve any a, like actual purpose in terms of the mechanical function of it, but it's really good in identifying where to press it when you do the um, the fast opening method. So if you've seen on the, the video with this one, I showed you that you could press the button whilst it's in the sheath, and then when you pull the axe out, it's straight away going to deploy, which is obviously the, the fastest way of opening the axe um, from the folded position. Uh, but now, because we have that triangle, you can just identify better where you actually are supposed to press the button. So if I fold this up like that, put it into the sheath, you can see that there is the triangle, so we know that's where we need to press in order to do the speed deploy. So I'll press that. Now the locks are disengaged, and as soon as I pull it out, it's going to open and unfold itself just like that. So really, really cool. Uh, other than that, the rest of the upgrades are actually on the sheath itself. So what I've done is just made a nicer uh, belt buckle in the back. So obviously on the version one, the the belt loop screwed into the, the main screw holes there. But now what I've done is just given it its own four separate ones, so it looks a lot nicer on the design. The other thing I added is a external uh, axe mount. So obviously like say I was using this, I don't know if I had this done in metal when you're out in the woods whatever chopping stuff, then um, you and you need both your hands for something, you don't want to put this on the ground. What you can actually do is store it on the outside of the uh, sheath because obviously it's a little bit annoying if you'd have to keep unfolding it and opening it again um, if, you'd, if you just need to not hold onto it for a few seconds. So what you can do is just slot that in there, slide it down, and then the axe will bite in due to gravity. And yeah, there you go. So it's actually locked onto the, the front of the sheath, and then if you need it, just rotate it up. Now it's gonna slide, and we can pull it down and out like that. So you can actually uh, mount it to the sheath in the extended position, which is really cool. 
But yeah, that's pretty much all the upgrades I've done on the V1.5 of the uh, combat axe. Still locks into the sheath like I showed you last time. Really cool. Um, yeah, that's it. Alright guys, so that pretty much concludes the video. Um, this is probably going to be the last time you see this combat axe really. Uh, unless I make a V2 model, but yeah, essentially these, I do plan on making these for sale. Um, I'm not too sure of pricing yet or anything like that, but it is a product that I really, really like, and I would love um, to sell these. I think that would be really awesome. So uh, this one you see here actually is for a customer. So he requested, um, you know, black handles and a gray blade and a black sheath. So. This is going to be his one, so I'll be sending that off to him uh, probably in the next few days, hopefully. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. This is the new uh, Combat Axe. Should be available soon. I uh, hope you guys like it. Please leave some feedback below. Uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe if you wish. And yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video.